Jesus said, He who received you, received me. And he who received me, received the one who sent me. You can't break it. If you join them to talk bad about the servant of God, you are the same. Korah, Datan, and Abira, they thought they too were leaders of influence in their own rank. They said, this Moses, this is our leader. He is biting too much, man. We want to show him that we be power, we be pillars here. They began, they started talking. And God was angry with them. They confronted Pastor Moses. Moses said, God will show who we call them. All of you come here. What pained me in that story was that even their innocent children died. The earth opened his mouth. Because when God wants to destroy the enemy, he will approach them. That was what he said to, to, uh, he said to Saul. He said the Amalekite slaughtered them. Not the men, the women and the children. The first time I read this, how can God say the children, innocent ones? But later I understood that if the, children, the seed of evil does not die, evil will come back. Have you watched any horror movie before? After they kill the last enemy, Hollywood will just make sure that they will, the last one that died open his eyes and they will end it. It is to tell you that it is not the end. The end is not the end. <laughs> you will say, ah, he opened his eyes again. They will just say the end. So go and process the rest. You have to kill the seed. Uproot it completely. Otherwise, it will come back. You cannot kill a snake and cut the head halfway and say he's dead. And you are playing with it. It will bite you. Amen. So loyalty to Jesus. When you are loyal, you are loyal. And let it not be forced on you. It's because you have understanding. Your spiritual father is like your biological father. Only a bastard in my culture will use the left hand to point at his father's house. It's a proverb in Yoruba land. Your father, your biological father is not perfect. Your spiritual father should not be perfect before you honor him. There's a blessing there. God is watching everything. God will deal with the imperfect father. But we honor the, the good son who honored his father. The Bible says, honor your father and your mother in the Lord. So that your days will be long. Loyalty is for you to show your dedication and your devotion. Yes, I'm tempted to leave him, but I will stay. That's loyalty. Yet I'm tempted to be rebellious, but I will honor him. It's loyalty. And I'll find a way to make sure that the work of my father will not suffer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's a choice.